So it's been exactly a week since I did the belated May garden tour. Um, today I don't, I don't have anywhere to be for the most part. It's Sunday. I've got a lot I want to get done, so I'm probably just going to take today to try to get things done and hopefully not get rained out this time. I spent I think three hours this morning weeding pruning um, I was able to get all of the greenhouse thinned out pruned I harvested oregano again um, I added straw to the potato bed weeded the kennel bed and then I weeded all of the main garden area except the shade cloth bed that is currently still well i was gonna say it was in shade but it's not anymore so uh i need to weed that one still um but i have some fun little flowers peeking up and i thought i would take a break and show you that uh, i had some some french toast and having a second cup of coffee and I'm ready to, to keep going. So first things first, I have my very first Cosmo flower. I haven't grown those before and it's really cute. And then I didn't think that this rose made it through the winter, but so far so good. What are you? Ah, peace rose. It's a hybrid tea. Isn't that beautiful? So I need to trim back the dead bits, but I'm excited that came back. My trail of tears bean is starting to vine up. That's also exciting. I harvested my first batch of salads out of the chard and the stem lettuce or keltus here. So that's exciting. And then the amaranth is starting to flower. Those are going to get massive and beautiful. There's the potato bed. Somehow my dead things, some of it survived. Those might be zinnias, hard to tell. And then I've harvested some calendula and chamomile this morning. And when I looked back on the May garden tour I did, Pretty sure this banana squash was about level with that beam. And now it's taller than me. So I went ahead and I strung the trellis up to go all the way across just in case. Harvested some wonder berries. So there's my pink banana squash friend. It was a surprisingly cool morning in the 50s earlier so I've had a, had a sweater on earlier and I switched to this so yeah I'm going to tidy up all the weeds that I basically just threw down on the ground and um, deal with those and I'm gonna try and deal with my potting bench corner today and if that goes well, I'm going to try and plant some things. One task at a time. One more thing before I get too far. That is ladybug larva. I have seen a couple of those when I was in here pruning earlier.
spent my first full Sunday off work just outside. So I started filming at like 7.45-ish. And then I am about to head in and it's almost 4. Um, so yeah, it's been a really busy day. But uh, I got a lot off my list. Yay! Um, I finished cleaning all the containers I had left. Mulched the potato bed. Uh, I raked the sand in here to spread it out. Um, it was a little too deep to be walking on without like losing my footing. And then on each side, as you enter, there are two stepping stones so that um, I don't lose my footing going from the firm outside to the soft sand. So some process improvements there. Um, I raised the potting bench so now I can stand and work at it. It's great. Um, I potted up a bunch of herbs. Um, I have more things that I need to pot but and seeds to start. Uh, and I need to sort onions still. Some of the ones that are sprouting in the pantry I need to take out and separate those from the ones that aren't sprouting, but those are chores that can wait wait till tomorrow. One day is not going to hurt anything. So, thanks for hanging out with me while I spent a lovely day in the garden where it wasn't oppressively hot, kind of cool in the morning, and it only got up to the 70s this afternoon, so that's not so bad. And tonight I'm going to run the sprinkler on both sides of the garden so that tomorrow everything will be fresh and ready for its day. Thanks for coming along with me. Little sun dog. Just chilling. Yeah. Gonna relax. Take a load off. Been working real hard this week, my little freeloader. <laughs>